Getting yourself and your family prepared in case of an emergency takes less time and effort than you may think. But if a disaster hits your community, having a plan for what to do and stocking up on some basic supplies can make all the difference in how safely and comfortably you make it through the crisis. In case of a major emergency, if you call 911, we may not be able to come out as quickly as you'd like us because we're going to be overwhelmed. We're going to have so many different situations at hand. So if you are prepared at home and you have a plan, then you'll be able to cope with it until help arrives. In an emergency, uh, everything goes out the window. Your emotions, the fear factor, confusion. If everybody's aware of the plan and can execute the plan, that increases your survivability. Take a few minutes to check out the tips and tools available on ready.gov that make getting prepared easy. There are a few basics. First, learn about the types of risks that could affect your area. No matter where you live, there is a natural or man-made disaster that could strike without warning. Knowing what to do before, during, and after these types of events ahead of time will help you make an effective plan. Then take a moment to sit with your family and decide how you will get in contact with each other, where you will go, and what you will do in the event of an emergency. Having a plan that everyone in the family is aware of can be very helpful in those situations where the family members are not in the same place. You can use the Family Emergency Plan available on ready.gov to organize family information and help you develop a plan that works for you. Identify someone locally and someone out of state who will be your contact person in case of an emergency. And learn how to send updates via text messaging to your friends and family. One of the things that we've noticed in the past during major emergencies, the, both the uh, regular phone lines as well as the cell phone lines were, were overwhelmed. But uh, people were still able to text message vital pieces of information in terms of location, nature of problem, or just to, to text to say uh, all is well. Once you've established your plan, print out a list available on ready.gov and start to put together an emergency kit. A standard emergency kit includes water, food, and medicine to sustain all members of your household for at least three days. Visit ready.gov for a complete list of suggested items, along with recommendations for how to prepare a family emergency plan. Even if you just add a few items at a time, very quickly you will have a great kit that will ensure you and your family are prepared for an emergency. Also, be sure to keep a copy of the emergency plan together with copies of important documents like birth certificates, insurance policies, and financial forms in your emergency supply kit. And don't forget to maintain your kit and plan throughout the year, replacing items prior to their expiration and keeping contact information current. Remember that emergency preparedness is not something you can do once and forget about it. Make sure that you review your kit periodically, you update any medication or uh, food and supplies, and also that you periodically uh, review it with your family. Inquire about emergency plans at places where your family spends time, like work, school, faith organizations, and recreational activities. Finally, get to know the local resources available in your community. Ready.gov can link you to local emergency information and contact numbers, information about sheltering and evacuation, and how to get local alerts and warnings. We can't predict where or when the next disaster will happen, but we do know that when the time comes, individuals and families who have taken even a few steps to prepare themselves will feel more confident and secure in their ability to get through it. Check out the information on ready.gov and get started today.